I only played the marimba one time to make another cover of the PMG, Minuano. And since I like challenges and I wanted to apply my method of study, I gave myself just one day to learn how to play it and record the two marimba parts. Plus, I wanted to save some money by renting it for just one day. And that was four years ago. Now, today, I wanted to do the same. So let's see how I've learned it even faster this time. So, this is the marimba. It's a typical African instrument, and if you watch it carefully, you can see that it's just a big piano. So if you know how to play the piano, you're halfway done. The first time for Minuano, I simply put my hands on these mullets and learned the part. And it took me almost 10 hours to learn and record it. The difficult thing about that song was that I had to play two notes at the time, so I had to learn the technique. This time the challenge was completely different. I had to play single notes, but the pattern was repeating itself for about two minutes. And it's always the same, but every time starts from a different point. So the real difficult thing is trying not to get crazy while you're trying to play the very same thing over and over again for two minutes in a row. Actually, that was not the worst part. The worst part was trying to hear which note the marimba is playing. And this was really hard at the beginning, but I have to tell you, the more my ear got refined by transcribing the piano part, the more I could hear the notes. So here's what I did. First off, I have listened to the original studio recording trying to get the notes. I didn't know it was a pattern, but it kind of sounded like it was. But I couldn't. Then I tried to listen to every live version I could find on YouTube, but um, still I couldn't figure out the, the exact pattern. So I have sent a message to um, a couple of musicians to help me out figuring that out. One of those was an orchestra director that uh, conducted Pat Metheny for a concert. And he rearranged the marimba part, so he had the score, he had transcribed the part. And he was kind enough to send it to me, but still it didn't sound perfect. The part I was reading was not what I was hearing, but he gave me a clue. So I kept listening until I found an old live version with poor sound quality, but where I could finally hear the exact notes Pedro Aznar was playing. And I noticed that there were two different parts. Uh, one that he was playing live, the low one, and another one, I guess, pre-recorded. But since I could hear the notes and the first pattern, now my ear could separate the two, so I could finally play the two parts, and they just fit, and I was super happy. Once I had them, first thing in the morning was to learn them on the piano. So I applied my method of learning, and in a couple of days I could play them without stopping. <laughs> But, there was the problem of the marimba. I didn't want to rent the instrument for a long time to save money for the trip where I have recorded it eventually. So I had to play an imaginary marimba on my dinner table. And the guy Lorenzo who rented the marimba to me told me that it's a typical thing percussionists do when they can't practice on the instrument. So I used these wooden spoons as they were the mallets and I tried to imagine the distance of the wooden keys of the marimba on the table and that built the technique in my body. So when I finally got the marimba, I already knew the technique and I simply needed to make it on the real instrument. And I eventually recorded the two parts and they sounded pretty good. One, two, one, two, three, four.